All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and start um, today with um, Karma Police by Radiohead. And um, I'm going to pretty much be doing this, you know, it's, uh, you're pretty much going to have a rhythm guitar part here during the whole song. So um, I'm going to mainly be teaching you the chord progression here. Um, it's, I'm sure it's going to take more than one video, though, so um, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can find the rest of the videos at www.mikesguitarlessons.com. Um, if you have questions or you have a particular song you want to request, um, you can hire me to learn specific songs, and you can email me at feedback at mikesguitarlessons.com, this email address down here. Okay? So, now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and start with the chord progression. Now let me play it for you one time so you can hear um, this first chord progression that we're going to learn here. Okay? That's pretty much the rhythm I play um, on the song, and that's the chord progression, the main chord progression. There are, um, let me see, I believe there, are, yeah, there are two other chord progressions that you got to worry about. Um, but this is a long one, so if you um, have trouble memorizing things, I'm going to call out the chord progression here real quick for you, and I want you to write it down so you can have something to remember. Okay, so the chord progression. Um, just write these chords down. It's going to be A minor, D, E minor, G. Okay. The next chord progression you're going to write down is A minor, F, E minor, G. Okay. And the last one is A minor, D, G, E minor, A minor, B minor, D. Now you're gonna, I, uh, you're, some of those chords are gonna have uh, kind of weird special things on uh, bass notes and things like that. So I'll go over those in more in detail now um, during the lesson. But those are the uh, chords that they're all based off of. So that's all one chord progression. You'll go through that one time, and then you get to repeat it if it repeats during the song. So if you have trouble memorizing, go ahead and write those down, and uh, that ought to help you a little bit. Now let's go ahead and start with our first chord. We've got an A minor. So um, on the A minor, we're going to start off with the E string being open. Okay? But the uh, B string, you're going to have your first finger in the first fret. Okay? Now, let me see. For the uh, G string, you're going to put your third finger in the second fret of the G string. You're going to put your middle finger or your second finger in the second fret of the D string. Okay? So that's your A minor chord. You, you mute the thick E string and you start here at the A string. So it's open, second, second, first, open. Okay? Now as you strum each chord here, especially towards the beginning, you kind of hit the lower part of the chord, meaning the thicker strings, and then you hit the rest of the chord. So what I usually do, so you can see it, watch my right hand down here, I'm holding my A minor chord down, and I kind of hit this open A bass note, and then I strum the whole thing, so, okay? And I do it again on that D. So, um, yeah, here's a few chords into it so you can see what I'm talking about. kind of see what I'm doing there. I'm, I'm hitting the bass notes and then the rest of the chord and continuing on with my rhythm. So you got your A minor. You're going to play like this. Now right there, you hear that bass note come out on the D. This is a normal D chord. Okay, so I'll show you it and then I'll show you the extra bass note you're putting on it. Um, your middle finger is going to go on the E string in the second fret. Your first finger 
Actually, let's go with your third finger. Your middle finger is where I told you, but your third finger is going to go on the third fret of the B string, playing that note. Your first finger is going to go on the second fret of the G string, playing that note. And then you've got open on the D and the A. Go ahead and just let those ring. But the bass note that you hear at the beginning of, the beginning of that chord is an F sharp. So you've got an F sharp pedal in here. What you're going to do is wrap your thumb around. And this time you're not muting a string. You're actually playing this one. So you're going to pluck or, or, or strum that string <clears throat> at the first of the chord. So you've got, starting at this thick E string, you've got second fret, open. If it gets muted, it's OK um, on the A string. Then you've got open on the D, uh, second on the G, third on the B, and second on the E. OK? And when you play this chord, you're going to hit bass note, then the chord. Okay? Most of your chords should start off like that. So you're going to go A minor, D, okay? And that's the strumming pattern I like to use. You can use a pick. Um, a lot of times I just use my hand because it's what I've got handy and I lose my picks a lot. But um, here it is with the pick. Okay. All right. Now, um, the next chord you're going to go to is an E minor. Now, what that's going to be is open on this thickest E string. Okay. Second fret on the A string with your middle finger. 2nd fret on the D string with your 3rd uh, finger, okay, playing that note, and then it's open on the G, the B, and the E, okay, so what we've got from thickest to thinnest string is open, 2nd, 2nd, open, 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 okay, that's your E minor. On this one, you're also going to hit the low E string, this thick one here you see moving, you're going to pluck that and then strum through the whole thing again. So it's going to go like this, starting at the beginning. Okay, now the one thing that's different on this chord is you've got to lead into the G that's coming, okay? It's going to sound like this. Okay, so one more time, that's... Now what's happening there is we, we hit our E bass note. When we hold down our E minor chord, we hit the E bass note. Then we strum one time through the whole chord. After that, you're going to play this. Now what you're doing there is just making a transition to the G chord but um, you're kind of mimic mimicking the uh, bass notes that they're playing. So what we're going to do is, um, after you strum through the E minor chord, then you're going to play the second fret on the E string. Okay? And I use my first finger. You could use your middle finger and then just slide up, but I use my first finger on the uh, thick E string, and then I use my second finger, my middle finger, to play the third fret on the uh, fat E string. And remember, that's where your finger goes for a G chord. So after you do this, then you need to take your first finger and, and put it down in the second fret of the A string, and then your pinky in the uh, third fret of the E, the third fret of the E string, if you can see that a little better right there. Now, I also like to use my third finger in the third fret of the B string. That's kind of optional. That one can be open or third fret. I'm going to play it like that though, so I'll show you that way. So what we've got on the G chord, starting at the thickest E string, is third, second, open, open, third, third. So it's going to sound like this. Okay? And I'm running up on 10 minutes now, so I'm going to have to continue this chord progression in another video.